So it looks like Professor Willow wants to give us a buzz. What's he got to say? Let's have a look. Hi, Pro Plani. I'm glad to see you. Can I get your help with investigating something? What's going on? I've noticed an alarming number of reports from trainers who have found Pokestops that look discolored. Some trainers have even spotted people wearing shirts with a big letter R, Team Rocket, on them who are guarding these Pokestops. These shady characters appear to have Pokemon with a mysterious dark aura around them. As I investigate this with Spark, it might be best to power up some of your Pokemon. You never know what we might encounter. <laughs> okay, so we've got the old jumpstart research, which I have not really bothered in doing. Uh, but we've got the troubling situation here. Evolve two Pokemon, power up Pokemon five times. I've already seen uh, what you have to do, and it's pretty much just an introduction to the Team Rocket stops and the Shadow Pokemon in the game. But uh, there's nothing here at the moment, so... That's chill, we can evolve two Pokemon, power up Pokemon five times, then we'll head out there. Uh, let's go. I might just power up a Tyranitar. We might not have enough candy for that. What else do I have? Here we go, we'll do this Tyranitar, it's a lot cheaper. And I mean, I'll use the Tyranitar, so that's... It's not too much of a waste, you know. The candy's jumping up. Four to six. How much is it now? Still six. That's chill. This quest is pretty easy as far as I know. Uh, but here, Rural, I need those Team Rocket stops. We don't have many Pokey stops, so uh, could be a problem. Yep, so we can claim that reward. They are shiny encounters from memory, so... Or they might be shiny. There's the potential for that, which is always nice. We'll do a Kabuto to a Kabutops. That's pretty straightforward. And then I'll find something else to evolve. And then I've already done the first part of this quest. So, uh, like I said, pretty easy. But it's nice to be able to do some of this stuff chilling back at home. Let's just do a Machop to a Machoke. Doesn't cost too much candy wise. Uh, there we go. Evolve two Pokemon. I wonder what uh, Professor Willow will have me doing next. Uh, first one. What's it going to be? It's a Murkrow. Beautiful. First catch of the day. Got plenty of Murkrow candy. And uh, let's claim this one. Sableye. Oh, that would have been a beautiful shiny as well. Uh, what's he got to say now? The rewards are okay, I guess. Some Stardust, some XP. I really don't need this stuff. A uh, great job strengthening your Pokemon. After visiting one of the Pokestops with Spark, we were challenged to a trainer battle by someone who belongs to an organization called Team Go Rocket. Turns out that Team Go Rocket has been stealing resources from Pokestops with the help of Pokemon that are cloaked in a dark aura. They're called Shadow Pokemon. Luckily, we won the battle and afterward Team Go Rocket carelessly abandoned their defeated Shadow Pokemon. Fair enough. Help us protect local Poke stops from Team Go Rocket Trainer. Team Go Rocket Trainer. <laughs> As you do so, please save any Shadow Pokemon that Team Go Rocket abandons. I'll try my best. Catch two Shadow Pokemon, defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunts. And we got two stops here. So like I said, I'm going to have to head out. Mm. We shall see. I'll see you in the next bit. So I decided to head out. I am at the next town over from mine. Uh, there's a few stops here. There's a lot more. Uh, and just as we are going through and I pulled up, just at the very end there, I can see one. You can see it fidgeting. So we're going to go check that out. But our shiny check, coughing, can now be a shiny. There's a stack of new shiny in the game. Uh, Ekans, coughing, their evolutions, Sneasel. All the good stuff. We need to get to that stop ASAP. I do not want to lose it. So uh, let's let's head there. Sweet. It was worth the drive. Something that I feared could happen when I get to this stop is that it despawns. It disappears. It's gone. I'm a little further past it, but uh, as I pulled up, no. The Team Rocket stop is gone. It's. <laughs> I missed out. I was too slow. The Snake Statue. And conveniently, we have an Ekans right next to that stop. 
that's a damn shame I was just shy of hitting that stop and checking out some new content in the game and it disappears I'm not quite sure what to do next do we head to the next town I don't know oh that's annoying that's so annoying I missed it by like a second ah <sighs> We got something going on over there as well. There's a helicopter and an ambulance. Hmm. Oh, I can't believe that happened. Just my damn luck. Uh. So I've waited around just a little bit. It started raining. It's cold. I've decided not to go to the next town over because that's just even more driving. Uh, I was hoping another one might pop up, but... Nothing here. Wasted trip. We got a raid. I did make those two gyms red though, so they're no, no longer instinct. Reckon I'm just going to head back home, chill and wait. And if, uh, if another one pops up. I have seen one pop up at mine. It was last night. But this was before the quest released, before the new shinies. And I was in bed. I wasn't prepared uh, to film it. So... I can't believe we missed out on that one. That's the struggle here, that's for sure. A lack of pokey stops. This is probably the best spot near me. But they, they seem rather uncommon, these uh, Team Rocket stops. And they're only around for like 30 minutes, so... I must have arrived just as it... Well, I mean, it, it happened. I arrived just as it despawned, so yeah. You might see me later in a few hours, I'm not quite sure, whenever the next one spawns where I live, you know? I just got home and I had a, I had a quick peek at the stops before I pulled up and there was nothing. And now we have another Team Rocket thing. Oh, I just got home! And then it decided to pop up. That is a fresh one. Let's get to it. Guess I'm going back out there. <laughs> I, I can't complain. I, I needed one of these. I want to see what, what it's all about. So, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely one of them. It just popped up as I pulled up. <sighs> oh, that's so cool. The Pokestop goes black. With a hint of red there, the Team Rocket theme. We've got a Licky Tongue and an Ekans Shiny Tech. Can't believe I'm saying that right now, but uh, nope. This stop here specifically keeps getting the Team Rocket stops, it seems. The other one I haven't seen. I've been watching all day. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So we spun it. Okay, cool. I've been hearing reports of some mysterious characters near Pokestops. You should take charge and go investigate. Be careful. Make sure you're prepared for a battle. Grunt, looking for more items? They're mine now. I just spun the stop. So, uh, yeah. Your item bag is full. You won't receive any. I, I don't care about items. That's fine. Uh, let's just go with what we have here. What could possibly go wrong? I have not done PvP in ages, hey. So it's a Ratata first up. I can't even see it because of the big Tangrowth looking thing. Okay. We're doing pretty good. Uh, let's drop a sludge bomb. Oh, are we doing a shield? Is that right? I'm just tapping like it's a raid, hey. Body slam. <laughs> oh, this is these are the new mechanics, hey. You gotta like tap on everything and there's new little mini games. I, I can appreciate that. Cool. Rats down. Next one. We've got a raticate. Oh, it's doing some damage there. Get ready. All right, let's tap on these. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> nice. I'll take that. I wonder what Pokemon we'll encounter. And will I catch it? That's the next big question. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Great. There we go. We've got one left. Uh, it's safe to say we've got this, I'm sure. A 5,000 CP Raticate, so it's two Raticate and one Ratata. What do we want to drop? Let's do Golem, sure. The Bearded Golem and Alolan Golem, cannot say no to that. Won't use that Wild Charge. That'll finish him off, I'm sure. 
Get ready. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> there we go. See you later. We did it, folks. Damn, what I lost? No. You win. Some Stardust. And uh, there's a badge for all of this as well. So there's a bit more of an incentive. We have four balls. What? And it's a rat. Your opponent fled and left their Pokemon behind. That really burns me up. There seems to be an ominous aura around the poor Pokemon too. Could you try to catch it and see what's so different about this Pokemon? We have four balls. All right, I'm just going to get set up here. Bear with me. I'm notorious for just throwing balls and missing. So, yeah. Okay, I got my hands free. Got the camera set up there. I mean, literally, look at that. Bit sketchy, but it'll do. Hello. <laughs> Let's get out of AR mode. When do I throw it? Let's just go. Uh, it's a nice, not my proudest throw. Come on. Yes, we caught it. I was just nervous starting with four balls. That's not really many. There we go. That is my first shadow Pokemon, a Rattata. I think we can help this Pokemon. Purification is a process that makes certain Pokemon stronger by tapping uh, into their inner power. Let's give it a try. So that costs Stardust and Candy. And then it goes back to normal. If we have a look at the quest, I need to catch one more Shadow Pokemon, which I can easily do. Uh, if, it's, if it was as easy as that, then cool. Uh, but I need to defeat two more Rocket Grunts. And then we progress to the next part, which is Purification. So I'll save the Purification part for when I get some more Shadow Pokemon, do some more Team... Uh, Team Rocket go grunts. <laughs> Let's catch this licky tongue. Okay, what do we got here? A thousand CP. That's a nice licky. It's a nice little spawn up here. So if I battle two more and catch one more, we can get to the next step. And then we just got to purify a few of them. And then that's the quest pretty much done. Nothing else here, so I will wait. <laughs> There's a Pikachu with a straw hat. I've only got a few of those. We actually have a look. Isn't that like three? Yeah. They don't spawn up here either, apparently. So, yeah. I'll see you at the next one, whenever that may be. I really don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'll just wait until they pop up here. Should be good. Oh. My collection is full. Ah, jeez. Uh, here we go. No shiny coughing. <laughs> just chilling here with Jess. <laughs> we are waiting for the next Team Rocket stop, aren't we? Yeah? I don't believe it. <laughs> it's been maybe 20 minutes, and the exact same stop is a Team Rocket stop again. So, uh, we're going to drive back up there and check it out, see what we can pull this time. Should be good. I'm actually quite shocked. <laughs> I wasn't kidding, I've been watching like a hawk. That was faster than I expected. Okay, I'm trying to swap Pokemon. Uh, it was a bit laggy there. Uh, what do we have CP wise? What's the highest I can use? Let's try a Gengar, uh, an Arcanine, and Omastar. I don't know. We'll see how we go. I have no idea what I'm up against, so yeah. Oh, we got a Dratini. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, the Dratini's doing some nasty damage there. We are licking. Oh, we're, we're smacking the Dratini. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to use Shadow Ball the minute she drops her next Pokemon. What do we have? A Dragonair. Okay, let's tap all these. Nice. Yep. Nice. I'm happy with that. Gengar has fought well. I'm very happy with that. Let's go with Arcanine. I fear we may have a Dragonite coming up next. I'm not quite sure. Or it'll be another Dragonair, maybe. Oh, oh, no. It's not showing the CP of the Dragonite. Oh, no. Come on. We may not beat her. 
I'm a little worried now. Oh, no way. No way. We're going to get smacked. Ancient power, save me. Wow. Great. Come on. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. Ah, really? That was tough. Is that all you've got? You have a lot of fight in you, trainer. Dragon-type Pokemon are weak to Ice Dragon and Fairy-type attacks. Okay, well, I didn't know I was versing them. Now I know. Takes a while to load when you tap on there. Like, I've already tapped. I want to change Pokemon. Okay. Ice. What do we have? Weevil? Try Lapras out? And then, uh... Fairy. What do we have for Fairy? Oh, it's struggling. Try Clefable out? Let's see how we go with these. I know Lapras is good for this. A full ice set. My Mew would actually be good, but uh, I don't know if it fits the Ultra category. Yeah, we're destroying them now. We're destroying them now. The Weevil didn't have ice moves. I forget these things. We're saving Blizzard for uh, Dragonite. So we drop it right about now. We should, we should be pretty well off. So you just swipe them. That's cool. Nice, a great, yep. <laughs> KO. Gotta love Lapras. Uh, when you use the proper counters, it's a piece of cake. Seriously. I hate losing. Get out of my face. You win. What do I win, though? What? That's the question. Here we go. Did that say three? This is my second one. Is it because I lost? No idea. Okay, four balls again, and we got a Dratini. Oh my gosh. What's the circle like? Red. I do not want to lose this. When do we throw it? That is the question. Oh, that was a terrible throw. Terrible. Come on. First ball again. <laughs> cool. Like I said before, I'm only worried because you only get a few balls to play with. Oh, Dratini is awesome. That is sweet. It's got a terrible appraisal. We're keeping that one. I don't know if I want to purify it. 10,000 Stardust, 10 Candy. Wow. That is so cool. Thank you, Team Rocket. What do we have in the quest here? So we need to do one more grunt. And uh, then we can start purifying. I think you need three or so to purify uh, to complete the quest. But we're nearly done and it's only 3 p.m. So I guess I'll head back home and <laughs> we'll repeat the same process. Uh, I guess this stop or the other one will probably spawn another Team Rocket Grunt uh, soon enough. But that's cool. Oh, I didn't notice. They actually have like a shadow there you can see in the background. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> That was interesting. I quite enjoy this. It's, it's pretty good. Well, but certainly been a while since the last clip, which you just watched. Uh, Rewatching all of that, my gosh. I have so much to talk about. So, obviously this so far has been a tough gig out here, rural, not many Pokestops, it's a pain. And of course, these were my first impressions when it released. Well, it released, and then they took it away for a day or so, then they brought it back, then they released the quest. And uh, yeah, I've been floating around trying to get some of these shadow Pokemon. There's some huge that you may have noticed, and that was, I was using an Ultra Team. Turns out you can use your master team Pokemon, but there's there's a catch, and this is what caught me off. You go here, now I don't have a team for Great Ultra or Master League, but basically what I had was I had a half-finished Master League team, and I'll just quickly uh, show you what it looked like. Then I had a completed Ultra League team, and again, we will just fix that up, which is max CP 2500. And it looks something like that. I also had a great league team, but uh, yeah. So if I jump into a Team Rocket battle looking like this, it is going to completely disregard Master League Pokemon 
and only show me Ultra League Pokemon and nothing more, nothing higher than 2,500 CP. So at the time, I thought that was just a thing, but turns out it's not. Get rid of your teams or make a completed Master League team and you're all set. So I wish I knew that sooner because, of course, just a few days ago, we had the, the Team Rocket takeover thingy and uh, every single Pokestop was a Team Rocket uh, stop. I was actually surrounded by a heap of Pokestops and took advantage of that. Of course, I was only using my Ultra League Pokemon, so I had a hard time beating any of them. And I was kind of devastated because I actually encountered a Snorlax, beat the first Snorlax, found out it was another Snorlax I had to take down, and I'm like, I can't do this. I need my max CP Pokemon to take out the Snorlax. I can't do it with an Ultra League team. So I literally fled and moved on, and now I'm like, damn, missed opportunity. I would have had a fighting chance. I have some really high CP Pokemon. Well, at least I know now, nonetheless. But yeah, I was... My, my aim for that event was to score a Grass, Fire, or Water-type Shadow Pokemon. So Charmander, a Bulbasaur, a Squirtle, something like that. So I can finish this quest off. Well, I have been busy since the last clip. Well-populated areas, stuff like that. And I have a stack of Shadow Pokemon. Surprisingly, never seen another Dratini, so I'll take that. But uh, we got some Charmander, Bulbasaur, some Rats... Zubat, a lot of Zubat, frustratingly enough, whatever, and uh, we got an Ivysaur, a Golbat, you know, so, neat. Now, obviously I've done more of the troubling situation quest, and we are now onto the final part of this quest, which is to purify three Shadow Pokemon, and we're going to sneak a Fire, Water, or Grass type Shadow Pokemon in to complete this quest. Jumpstart research, might as well do some of that as well. Take a snapshot of Dratini, evolve a Dratini, easy as, and I know just the one to evolve. So let's search Shadow again. Okay, where's the Dratini? Well, we are not going to purify this. I want a Dragonite. We've got enough candy. It's a part of a quest anyway, so, uh, you know, let's have a Shadow Dragonite in the collection. That'll be awesome. First up, of course, we have the Dragonair. And there it is. Very spooky indeed. Really looking forward to that Dragonite. And it works out well with the quest. The CP ain't incredible, but I mean, I just want it in the collection there. I think that'll look awesome as. Up you go, Dragonair. And show us the Dragonite. Here we go. Wow, that looks awesome. Very cool indeed. Okay. So we're going to leave the Dragonite... We ain't going to purify it until I find another one, perhaps. But I'm very happy with that. Okay, so we've done that. Now, we need to purify some Pokemon. And you know we're going to do a Zubat just because uh, I have so many of them. So 1,000 Stardust, 1 Candy. It will gain a significant amount of CP, cost less to power up, and learn the exclusive charge attack return. And, oh, wow, it has a new interface and everything. That's actually really cool. Haven't seen it. Have not seen it at all. So there you go. Lovely stuff there. Sparkly indeed. Wow. And that's its appraisal. So, okay, sure. Am I going to use it? No, probably not. If you punch in purify, purified, there it is. Neat, it's got a little sparkly icon there. Okay. You know what? I kind of want to evolve the Ivysaur to a Venusaur. Just to see what it looks like. We're not going to purify this one. I'll do another one. I'm just, I'm really curious. Because we got the Bulbasaur, the Ivysaur, and now we have the Venusaur there. Wow, look at that. Shadow Pokemon Evolutions. Is that something that interests you guys? I could do a heap of those. Gives me a reason to use, use all this candy, hey. Wow, look at him. <laughs> What's his appraisal? Meh. Of course, you'd want to purify it to make him better, but there you go. Wow. Alrighty, let's purify a Bulbasaur. Of course. This will tick off two, so it's a shadow Pokemon and a grass type which is what the quest wanted. 
So that is that is really nice. You purified Bulbasaur. Okay. And they're nothing amazing, but I mean they're cool. Sure thing. What do, what else do we want to do? Let's do um. We'll just do a Ratata, because why not? And there we go, quest complete, just like that. We are done. Finally. I finally got around to finishing it, hey. Like I said, it's a little tougher down here, rural. So I had to head out, and it worked out really well with that one hour event. It was still a struggle, but now I can use Master Pokemon. I know how to now, so yeah. If we just punch in Purified, whoop. There we go, we got three so far in the collection. Neat. Oh, we have eggs hatching as well. Apparently I've been walking around. Let's have a look-see. Oh, could have been a shiny, hey. Damn. Any more want to hatch and interrupt the vid? Was really hoping that was a legendary. Close, but not quite, hey. Wouldn't mind another shiny Ray Ray. There was one last thing we needed to do, and that was take a snapshot of Dratini. So, we can do that, just quickly. Maybe later for AR+. Bam. Whoa. Did we really just pull a Smeagol first go? <laughs> Thought he was uncommon. Yeah, we're Golden Razim. Reasonable high CP. We will ultra throw. I haven't caught one of these in a while just because of the tedious nature of having to take a photo check, take a photo check. But wow. I mean, I'll take a sneaky smirg smeargle. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. We can redeem all this stuff. So let's just do the jump start. That's a lot of Dratini candy. We get a, we get a pass as well. Some lucky eggs. Why not? Really not invested in this quest whatsoever. A battle in a raid, power of Pokemon 10 times, battle another trainer in Great League. Easy stuff, you get the gist. I don't need to show this quest off. We're all about this one, which we can now complete. The rewards again are okay. They're not that fantastic. Some Stardust, some Silver Pineapps, need a few of those. Rare Candy, I'll take it. Impressive, Dragonair is a powerful Pokemon in its own right. Let's get Dragonair ready to battle. You can try taking on other trainers or working together to take down huge raid bosses. Oh, what is... He's talking about the wrong quest there. <laughs> He's re-repeating what he said. We've finished this quest. This is all just completed. A troubling situation is finished. Some more candy and some TMs. That's nice. Thank you very much, Professor Willow. Uh, I'll take those. Wow, thanks for helping us learn more about the Shadow Pokemon that Team Go Rocket uses, trainer. After observing the purification process with Blanche, it's clear that the Pokemon's gratefulness to you for purifying them causes the move Frustration to be replaced with Return. Now that you have this knowledge, we need your help with saving as many Shadow Pokemon as possible by taking back Pokestops that are under Team Go Rocket's control. The world is under attack. Can we count on you to help protect it? I do hope there's nothing more to this. Well, I kind of do. That quest sucked. But uh, we've done it. Beautiful stuff. Folks, that's going to do it for this video. What do you think of the new Shadow Pokemon stuff in the game? There's actually a heap more that have just released in the news section there. If we check that out. Team Go Rocket has turned more species of Pokemon into Shadow Pokemon. So, you know, we got Poliwag, Grimer, Muck, Drowsy, Hypno, Cubone, Scyther, Magikarp, Gyarados. Wow, that'd be awesome. Houndor, Houndoom, and Routes coming soon. So, yeah. More Shadow Pokemon to get. We've done the quest, and I'm off. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. You can follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at ProPlani. And with that said, I shall see you all in my next video. Let me know what you've pulled Shadow Pokemon-wise in the comments section. We got some nice ones there. I'm very happy with my little collection. Really want a Snorlax and, of course, a Magikarp the Gyarados now with the new ones that have released. But, uh, yeah, it's neat content nonetheless. Really hyped for more. See you later. I've learned a lot over the past week regarding this stuff. Some of it the hard way, like using an Ultra League for every single damn Shadow Pokemon that I currently own. Unreal.